Hi guys, Tory MP 30P Lee Anderson stood up in the House of Commons and expressed his toxic rhetoric once again. This time he suggested that people who are complaining about overcrowded facilities should just get in a dinghy and go back to France. Now while this is not surprising from the likes of Lee Anderson, I was taken aback by the response given by the Home Secretary instead, Suella Braverman. Have a listen to what she had to say. Hey. Speaker, Alan, we've got Albanian criminals leaving Albania, which is a safe country. The same criminals are then setting up shop in France. They're then leaving France, which is a safe country, and coming to the UK across the channel. And then when they get this accommodation, we've got the opposition parties saying the accommodation is not good enough for them. Yeah. Well, does the Home Secretary agree with me that the, if the accommodation is not good enough for them, they can get on a dinghy and go straight back to France? Yeah. 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 Okay, first of all, it's not that the accommodation is not good enough is that there is overcrowding. Now, a Tory MP, who I respect somewhat, Rog, uh, Roger Gale, said that he was at this facility, and I believe him when he says that, he was at the facility, he said the accommodation was, was excellent, that the catering facilities were very good, very high quality, uh, but the problem was overcrowding, that the facility was designed for a certain number, and there was double that already in the building, in the complex. And that's the problem. Well, my honourable friend's right. The average cost per night is £150 per person per night, to per night in a hotel. By my standards, that's quite a nice hotel, I'm afraid. Uh, and I, therefore, I think any complaints that the accommodation isn't good enough is frankly uh, absolutely indulgent and uh, ungrateful. Wow indulgent and ungrateful. Now, in another part of her speech at the beginning of this this debate, she said that she was not blocking hotels. That she was, um, and anyone who were, was suggesting such a thing was engaging in fantasy. The idea that she was blocking asylum seekers being, from being moved f from facilities like the one that is in the centre of the story to uh, hotels and now she's saying that well the hotels are wonderful why would we you know it's, it's very expensive to be sending people to hotels and um, the accommodation is is above the standard that these people should be accepting which begs the question then why is she talking about hotels here obviously what's happening is the facilities can't take, in reality, the facilities can't take the numbers that are coming in. So people are being sent to hotels. But the problem is the Tories and Suella Braverman in particular don't want to tr don't want to trumpet this because many people who vote for them are upset that there are asylum seekers being moved into hotels. They don't want to see asylum seekers around. And, and the problem is because the processing is so slow, the people, the asylum seekers have to stay where they're told to stay. So if they're put up in a hotel because there isn't space in a facility, because the Home Secretary doesn't want to build new ones or doesn't want to expand them, doesn't want to spend the money to do that, then the stopgap is the hotel. But if the people are been forced into the hotels and been told there, well, you have to wait until your your claim has been processed and that claim can be months, then whose fault is it? Is it the Home Secretary's or someone else's? Of course, Lee Anderson and the Home Secretary would like just to blame the asylum seekers here and to say, yeah, let's send them back uh, to France. But you have international agreements you're supposed to follow international law i know you know part and parcel of this party is to break international law of course in a limited and specific way but when it comes to this you have you have signed up to agreements you have said that you're going to treat these people with respect with dignity if you can't provide them with accommodation in a facility you have to find an alternative and that being a hotel and if these people are stuck in hotels for months, that's not their fault. You need to hire more officials to process these claims. You need to speed up the process. 
you need to put in the heavy, uh, you, you need to put in the work. But these people don't want to put in the work. They just want to find a scapegoat. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.